Got an E30 BMW. Uh, I'm doing this video because we're trying to sell the car, just to give people a little bit more better view of what the car looks like and so forth. Um, as you can see, it's white. It's in decent condition. Uh, we're selling it for pretty cheap. We need someone to really buy it and who really wants an E30. The car is lowered on iBox springs for the 318i, so it's on four cylinder springs. It has 18 inch rims right now with bin Bilstein shocks. Uh, they're actually Bilstein sport shocks in the rear. Uh, car has black interior. Got black door panels. It's got manual roll up windows, which function nicely actually. It's got electric mirrors. Let's see if I can get this thing. You can hear the mirror move up and down, out, side to side. Actually, both mirrors function. Can't really see it from way over here, but both mirrors go up and down. You actually see that the driver's seat has a rip in it due to the fact the car is, well, from the 80s. Not surprised the driver's seat has a rip in it. Dash, so forth. Uh, the headliner has a pretty gnarly rip in it. Same thing due to age. Back seat doesn't have any rip in it. Has all its seat belts and buckles. Passenger seat has no rip in it. Passenger door panel looks good. Window itself rolls up and down nicely also. If I can do this with one hand. There you go. Nice and smooth. Glove compartment, radio, antenna goes up, electric antenna. The car is a five speed. The only thing that's that this car has is it's a 318 chassis, but it has a 325 uh, or inline six motor in it, as you can see. So the car has an engine swap as we call it. Walking around. The BMW inline six motor. Car has a new alternator. Um, has new coolant temperature for the ECU and for the gauge sensors. Uh, it also, driver's side. I just adjusted all the brakes in the car, or I mean the rear drums. Uh, the shoes were out of adjustment, I adjusted them so the brake pedal feels good and hard. Also, what else did I just do to this thing? Oh, I did lower control arm bushings, thrust arm bushings are brand new in them. They were cracked and broken so I replaced them. Other than that, the car drives pretty well, the clutch feels great, the car has good power, uh, but this car does have an engine swap so the only thing that doesn't function right now that needs to be figured out is the fact that the tack doesn't work. Speedometer work, but tack does not work. The reason why the tack doesn't work is either the car has the wrong um, uh, electronic chip in it for six cylinder or tack itself or so forth. I've checked all the wiring, it's nothing to do with the engine swap. It's literally that something in this instrument cluster is not letting the tack work. So if you have any questions, go ahead and email us. Come down and look at the car. Um, hopefully it finds a good buyer, someone who really wants an E30 and can put some love and care into this car.